Hello everyone and welcome to Know Your Drug. The ultimate destination for all things of health and wellness from the fascinating world of pharmaceutical. We are here to guide you on Dabigatrin capsules exploring the various aspects of Dabigatrin, their usage, dosage, mechanism of action, side effects, and most importantly, essential advice for taking them safely and responsibly. Before we begin, let me emphasize that the content provided in this channel is purely educational. Always consult a healthcare professional for personalized advice regarding medications. Now, let's get started. Use of Dabigatrin Capsule Dabigatrin is an anticoagulant medication used to prevent blood clots. Here are some common uses of Dabigatrin Capsules. Dabigatrin is often prescribed to patients with atrial fibrillation, a type of irregular heartbeat. AFib increases the risk of blood clots forming in the heart, which can lead to stroke. Dabigatrin helps prevent these blood clots and reduces the risk of stroke in individuals with AFib. Dabigatrin may be used as a treatment and prevention option for deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. It helps to prevent the growth of existing clots and reduce the risk of new clots form. Dabigatrin can be prescribed to prevent blood clots after certain orthopedic surgeries, such as knee or hip replacement. These surgeries carry a higher risk of blood clots due to immobility during the recovery period, and Dabigatrin can help reduce this risk. Dabigatrin may also be used in other conditions where there is a risk of blood clot formation, such as in individuals with a history of clotting disorders or those who have had a previous clotting event. Dosage of Dabigatrin Capsule The dosage of Dabigatrin capsules can vary depending on the specific medical condition being treated, the patient's age, kidney function, and other individual factors. Here is some general information about typical dosages for certain conditions. For atrial fibrillation, the usual recommended dose is 150 mg taken orally, twice daily. In some cases, a lower dose of 110 mg taken twice daily might be prescribed. In case of deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism, the usual dose is 150 mg taken orally, twice daily, after the initial treatment period with an injectable anticoagulant for the prevention of recurrent DVT and P prevention of blood clots after orthopedic surgery. For prevention after hip replacement surgery, the usual dose is 110 mg taken orally, starting 1 to 4 hours after surgery, followed by 220 mg taken once daily. For prevention after knee replacement surgery, the usual dose is 220 mg taken orally, starting 1 to 4 hours after surgery, followed by 220 mg taken once daily. Please remember that these are general guidelines and your specific dose may differ. Always consult your doctor or healthcare provider for accurate dosing information and guidance tailored to your specific situation. M Mechanism of Action of Dabigatrin Capsules Dabigatrin is an anticoagulant medication that belongs to a class of drugs called direct thrombin inhibitors. Its mechanism of action involves targeting a key enzyme in the blood clotting process, known as thrombin. Thrombin is a crucial component in the clotting cascade, which is a series of steps that leads to the formation of blood clots. Thrombin converts fibrinogen, a soluble protein, into fibrin, an insoluble protein. Fibrin forms a mesh-like structure that stabilizes blood clots and helps prevent excessive bleeding. The mechanism of action of dabigatrin involves inhibiting thrombin directly, thus interfering with the clotting cascade and preventing the formation of fibrin. Here's how dabigatrin work. Direct thrombin inhibition. Dabigatrin directly binds to and inhibits the activity of thrombin, which is responsible for converting fibrinogen to fibrin. By inhibiting thrombin, dabigatrin prevents the formation of fibrin, thereby disrupting the clotting process. Prevention of blood clots By inhibiting thrombin, dabigatrin reduces the formation of fibrin and inhibits the formation of blood clots. This is particularly important in conditions where there is a risk of unwanted blood clot formation, such as atrial fibrillation, deep vein thrombosis, and pulmonary embolism. Predictable anticoagulation Dabigatrin has a more predictable anticoagulant effect compared to older anticoagulants like warfarin. 
This means that routine monitoring of blood clotting levels INR, is not required with dabigatrin as it is with warfarin. Rapid onset and offset, dabigatrin has a relatively rapid onset of action, which means it starts working fairly quickly after ingestion. This can be advantageous in certain clinical situations where rapid anticoagulation is needed. Additionally, its effects were off more quickly once the medication is stopped. Side effects of dabigatrin capsule. D dabigatrin capsules, like any medication, can have potential side effects. Common side effects of dabigatrin capsules may include bleeding, gastrointestinal symptoms, nausea, stomach pain, swelling, headache, liver enzyme abnormalities, allergic reaction. It's important to note that dabigatrin can increase the risk of bleeding, which can be a serious side effect. It's crucial to inform your healthcare provider if you experience any signs of bleeding include unusual bruising or bleeding, red or dark colored urine, black or bloody stools, coughing up blood or blood clots, vomiting blood or material that looks like coffee ground, because dabigatrin affects blood clotting, it's important to inform all healthcare providers and surgeon that you are taking this medication, as it can influence decisions regarding other medical procedures or surgeries. Important advices for using dabigatrin capsule. When using dabigatrin capsules, it's essential to follow your healthcare provider's instructions carefully to ensure the medication's effectiveness and your safety. Here are some important pieces of advice for using dabigatrin capsule. Take dabigatrin exactly as prescribed by your doctor. Follow the recommended dosage, frequency, and duration of treatment. Take dabigatrin at the same times each day to maintain a consistent level of the medication in your bloodstream. Store dabigatrin capsules in their original container, away from moisture, heat, and light. Keep them out of the reach of children. Do not skip doses or stop taking dabigatrin without consulting your healthcare provider. Suddenly stopping the medication can increase the risk of blood clots. If you miss a dose, take it as soon as you remember on the same day. If it's close to the time for your next dose, skip the missed dose and continue with your regular dosing schedule. Do not double dose. Limit alcohol intake while taking dabigatrin as alcohol can increase the risk of bleeding. Be vigilant for signs of bleeding, such as unusual bruising, bleeding gums, nosebleeds, or blood in urine or stools. Seek medical attention if any unusual bleeding occurs. Inform all healthcare providers, including dentists, about your dabigatrin use before undergoing any medical procedures, surgeries, or dental work. D dabigatrin is not significantly affected by vitamin K-rich foods, but maintaining a balanced diet can still contribute to overall health. If you are traveling, ensure you have an adequate supply of dabigatrin capsules. Carry them in their original container and have a copy of your prescription. In case of severe bleeding, accidents, or other emergencies, seek medical attention promptly. Inform healthcare providers that you are taking dabigatran. Dabigatrin is primarily eliminated by the kidneys. If you have kidney problems or are on medications that affect kidney function, your doctor may need to adjust your dose. Remember, your healthcare provider is the best source of guidance for your specific situation. Regularly communicate with your doctor, attend scheduled appointments, and don't hesitate to ask questions about your dabigatrin treatment. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of the use, dosage, mechanism of action, side effects, and important advice for taking dabigatrin capsule. Remember, knowledge is power, and being well-informed empowers you to make